Zach Wilson, you don't, you don't draft him at two and then, you know, say, hey, we're going to wait. You're going right with him with this young team. Expectation-wise, what do you have for him and this team when you consider that the Jets had a Mark Sanchez that you were part of that group, but it was a much different right. roster that he was on compared to this one? Well, I tell you what, the roster is getting a little better now, right? You, you think about Bear Tucker, you know, we know what Beckton can do. Um, the, the acquisition of Morgan Moses actually yeah. kind of gives them three solid, you know, well, not solid because I think Bear Tucker is expected to be Quinn and Nelson. Um, that's the expectations that's put on him. They were aggressive and moved up to get him. Uh, Beckton, I believe, this year takes a step to being like a top five left tackle, maybe the most dominant physical, physical left tackle in the game. And Morgan Moses is, is better than just an average type of guy. I think he's one of the more premier right tackles in the game. You would put him top, I would put him top 10 right tackle. Now, maybe, you know, you talk about this secondary. I always talk about the secondary uh, free agent market. Who knows? Maybe they can get somebody to make everybody on the team fight for that right tackle, I mean, that right guard position. And then now this guy's set up. I mean, what I love about what Joe Douglas has done with this roster, he's created competition all over. Whether you talk about P. Ryan, you talk about Michael Carter, you talk about uh, Tevin Coleman, you know, they, they have real guys that's going to have competition. They're going to have good football players that are, are not on this team next year that they're going to cut because there's just so many, you know, guys at the position. Look at what they've done in the slot. You know, you got Crowder, you got, uh, you know, you got uh, Kenan Cole, you got the young rookie um, uh, that they drafted. Um, I forget his name right now. Uh, but you, you, you have him, and there's going to be a lot of competition out there. So I think they have the pieces around to support a young quarterback, just run the ball, run the ball, play action. Um, but that's what they're going to have to do. But I, I still want him to have to earn it. Even Justin Herbert had Tyrod Taylor in front of him, and if it wasn't for uh, somebody with uh, a bad GPS system um, <laughs> oh, puncturing wow. uh, his, his lungs, Herbert, we wouldn't have saw Herbert so early either. Yeah. Oh, wow. That, that, that is still one That's of the still wildest one of the unbelievable stories, injuries. right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's go across town, um, Bart, while we got you here. Daniel Jones, not quite the rookie that Zach Wilson is going to be, but also probably yet to reach his full potential and be in the best position to do so. Um, what you got? What are you expecting there? I don't, and in general, that division, like, right. should the Giants yeah. win that division? I mean, it's really a... God, that Cowboys. division is so. Right, hey, chill. Is Watch still... the football teams in that division. Uh, Bart, the question is, <laughs> Daniel Jones, <laughs> Giants, how you like them and where you like them to finish in the division? You're going to bring it up. Listen, I like Junior Whopper. Yes. You know, Junior Whopper's going to have to put <laughs> some Spider Whopper. Tacky 2000 on his fingers to make sure he holds on to the ball a little bit <laughs> inside, of the, inside of the pocket. That is excellent. But when you think about Junior Whopper, man, he, he has no more excuses. And if he can't get it done here, they have a decision, maybe the same decision that the Jets had to make about – Sam Darnold last year. Like, hey, we got all the pieces around. You got Saquon Barkley. You got uh, Ingram. You got, you know, uh, Plethora. Man, I, I just wanted to pull one of my college words off nice. my social media. Plethora. Um, Love you it. Got, you, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, of, of wide receivers on the outside. No more excuses. I mean, they went out and they got you uh, Galladay. They went out and you still have Sterling Shepard. I mean, they, they went out and they solidified the offensive line. It's time for him to put up or shut up. Man, listen, I believe he's going to put up. You know, I believe he was my candidate to be the Josh Allen um, this wow. year. The guy okay. that takes that huge leap to borderline superstardom. Uh, they have a, a, a good defense. Um, they go out and they, they, they have a, a great pass rusher fall to them because he had some medical issues and disease. Let's see if they can, let's see if they can figure it out. But now Danny Dimes has no more excuses. And Dave Gettleman, if he's talking about, you know, Saquon Barkley in a yellow jacket, well, Saquon Barkley is coming back, and he's trying to get some of that McCaffrey money. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's going to put the, the, the Giants organization in a tough spot if he comes back and, and he's elite because you already, you know, passed up great quarterbacks to go out and get him, and he has to kind of justify that number three overall pick. He's going to have to step his game up. And if he steps his game up, it's going to cost you about 15 per, Woo. which you know, is another issue. But that's what you want. You know, Saquon Barkley coming in in his rookie year, I mean, he had over 700 yards receiving, over 1,000 rushing. If he can give you that, I mean, Junior mm -hmm. Whopper should be in good hands. So, look. All right, so everybody know Junior Whopper is something that Bart Scott usually calls Daniel <laughs> Jones based on the fact that he has small hands. Okay, 
wow. I, we'll have That's, to get that story some other time. Yeah, but look, <laughs> to follow up there, though, Bart, just a little bit. So then what becomes his mentality? Because now everybody is saying it's do or die. What's up? Are you here to stay and make an impact, or are you just a guy that's passing through? What becomes his mentality? Because not only does he need to, you know, hit the right people, but you're also bringing back Saquon, which to me becomes a little bit of a dynamic and chemistry thing. So how does Daniel Jones need to approach this year simply? Well, listen, he has to put it up like, hey, either I'm going to be a starter in this league or I'm going to be Josh McCown. I'm going to be a smart guy from Duke that can come here and be a good backup, be a solid backup. You know, he's going to go around and, and beat Tyrod Taylor, right? And remember, Tyrod Taylor got his chance in, in Buffalo. It was okay, but he, he's now the guy that everybody goes to to kind of be able to mentor a young rookie. And who wants to mentor a young rookie when you're a young guy yourself? Wow. You know, so Daniel Jones has to understand this is pivotal for him because you're, you're running out of spots to be able to have uh, a place to be a quarterback in this league because it's going to be one or two guys that come out uh, of the draft this year, and they're going to eat up those spots. They're going to be the, – the Giants are going to be in the moving, trading spots, trying to get more – draft capital we know you know the same issues within the division right mm-hmm. because Jalen Hurts is right there right Jalen Hurts they got rid of uh Wentz but they got a haul for Wentz and they have a lot of equity to be one of these guys that we don't know what the, the Deshaun Watson saga how that's going to end we don't know if um you know Mr. Jeopardy is going to be asking who was the quarterback of the Green Bay Packers right <laughs> wow. and we don't know what's going wow. to ha- we don't know what's going to happen with Russell Wilson listen Sierra can only be like she only can sink at the fish mark for so long wow. before she say you know what I'm t- it's time for me to get up out of here in Seattle I need to go to the prime real estate because yeah. they still ain't can't can't win when you think about what the Rams have done you think about San Francisco being back so listen it's a, it's going to be that that quarterback carousel and Danny Dimes will be someone left without a seat if he can't solidify his home in New York. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.